Hey guys, so just trying to adjust the camera, bumping. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I really love to journal and it is something that I have loved to do since I was pretty young. Um, honestly, I think since as long as I could read and write. Um, but over the last few years, I have started to become more creative with it. And um, I've shared it quite a bit here on my channel, but I did want to do a updated kind of um, show and tell of all of the current journals that I have um, in my practice. And pretty much all of these are related to my spiritual practice. So some of them are study journals, some of them are art journals. It just really, some of them, one of them is my book of shadows. And I kind of have a whole different system for I'm just grabbing one more <laughs> that I realized um, for how I use magical journaling. I do have a book of shadows and um, but it doesn't have any spells in it. So first I will get into um, some other journals and then we'll kind of get into my book of shadows and stuff too. Um, so most of them, like I said, are an ongoing project. This is my room journal. This is just a journal I had started when I was doing um, Lisa Papez and Boho Taro's rune study group. Um, and so I just have, it's not, there's not a whole lot in here yet. It's actually pretty blank. Um, but this is all for, oh, that's stuck. Um, specifically for study of the runes and I've actually taken the liberty of laying out the pages to write down information on the runes to kind of get to know them. And then this is another study journal that I have. This is my astrology journal. I got this along with the book called Astrology for Yourself, which kind of teaches you how to read your birth chart. Um, so I've got several of my charts in here and all of my information. And um, then I have, go, I'm going through the exercises in the book, kind of laying out everything. So that is my astrology study journal. Um, this next one is my tarot journal. This is um, kind of like a bullet art journal. I have done I did one last year and I know that I did do a walkthrough of that at one point. This is my one for this year, 2020. Um, and it's got, this has actually started to become my spiritual planner slash bullet journal. So I've done a lot in here. Um, as you can see, this is my year ahead spread. We'll probably just do a full flip through of this one. There's a lot of incompleted pages in here too. So especially as soon as COVID hits, you'll see that. Um, I was doing, putting like my weekly, doing weekly spreads as you would in a burn, bullet journal and just writing down my, um, my cards that I would get for the day and kind of having fun with it. And as it goes on, it sort of transforms a little bit. Blank page. Yeah, and there's just so many pieces that I haven't completed in it. Especially, like I said, once we get to March, it pretty much just gets blank for a bit here. So there's March. My card for March was the tower, and that's when everything with COVID started to really ramp up. So it was just nuts. And April. <laughs> so many blank pages. I plan on finishing this out before I allow myself to start another one for 2021, by the way. Um, I really seriously just went a few months like hardly doing anything in here pretty much throughout the whole summer. And then around August, I decided, okay, well, let's change it up a little bit and I'll start to do like a spiritual bullet journal planner because um, I needed a space where all that went because I felt like it would help me, it would help me hold myself accountable to my spiritual practice. And so I started with August doing these spreads with like the August full, full moons, um, the full moon in, in Aquarius reading. And then I started doing um, 
this uh, monthly magic page. This was inspired by a website called blessingandmanifesting.com. I will put the link to them down below if I remember. And um, go check out her website. She does a lot of like spiritual planners and stuff. I essentially took this spread, but I did not create it. It is hers. Um, and then I just added this daily practice tracker here, which is not complete. <laughs> so again, we have more weekly spreads, just me doing... Um, and then so I started doing like self-care Sunday stuff, which was inspired by Boho Tarot, where I was actually taking a, um, self-care, the self-care oracle, the sacred self-care oracle and drawing cards. I still do that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, lots of blank pages. Sometimes I draw stuff in here. Just depends. I still, as we went into the fall, was trying to go on with trying to do spiritual planning. Um, but October got a little messy. October was a really messy month for me in the sense of just all that happened. Oops. Having my surgery and, um, you know, losing, having to put my kitty down. It was just rough. So. And then now we're into November. And there we are. <laughs> As you can see, I'm already putting, tucking away artwork for Yule. And I will finish this out before 2021 and complete everything in here before I allow myself to get another journal. Um, I mentioned this in my last, in my recent favorites um, video that I did, but this is something that I recently got. And it is essentially a tarot journal that is a little bit different than this um this essentially what this will will do is it will replace this this is what i've been using um since the beginning of the year this is something that my friend heather made me and i've essentially been putting originally it was a book of mirrors but then i kind of changed it out so um i do have some entries in here that are book of mirrors and then um i started doing just tarot spreads all that's in here is just tons and tons of tarot spreads and they where I jot down like my daily draws and um, I have like a recent re rune reading. So this has essentially become a tarot spread or divination journal and that is pretty much what this will become once this is filled out. This is my shadow work journal. I had a different one that was slightly smaller. I actually recently purchased this one because it was bigger and I wanted lined paper instead of dot grid for this because most of my shadow work is journaling um, or tarot. So I actually went through another cover page. Um, I actually went through and started to preemptively write in shadow work spreads for tarot and then kind of I wanted to do something kind of dark goddess and kind of how that correlates to shadow work and then I plan on doing journal prompts in here. Um, Kellyanne Maddox has a really great free pdf where it's just um, journal prompts for heavy duty shadow work I think is what she calls it and I plan on going through those and doing them in here and journaling them. So that is my shadow work journal. And then, oops, bumping the camera. The last four here are more to do with magic or my practice. This is my book of mirrors. So this is my spiritual brain dump. This is where everything that kind of is on my mind goes. A lot of it's really personal, so I'm not gonna show you, but it's just a line journal where I keep a lot of my spiritual thoughts and anything that's kind of going on in my head. Sometimes I will throw rune readings in here. I'll do meditations, dreams. Sometimes it just, any like psychic experiences I have, they all get recorded in here. Um, Cause again, this is my spiritual brain dump. I will always have a book of mirrors. Um, this is more of like my spiritual diary. Whereas this is my book of shadows and everything um, Book of Shadows are often described as a magical diary, which you can approach it that way. For me, personally, it's a artistic represent representation of my practice. This is where I put 
information about myself, my practice, and kind of anything I really want to keep in here under that regard. But I do it all in an artistic way. Um, so there's a lot of collaging in here. There's my birth chart, um, a lot of my personal information, my like dominant elements, my three rising, or my three um, major signs, my personal tarot cards, um, power animals, like animals that I have a spiritual affinity towards. Um, and then like self-care magic, empowering quotes, things like that. Teas and brews. This is going to be a section for dealing with chronic pain and things that I've done there. And then we kind of go into like the moon, all the information that I wanted on the moon. Um, yeah, I have some stuff just kind of sitting in here for a bit until I find a good place for it, but I have a whole section on the moon. Then we kind of get into astrology. And there is some stuff in here from quite some time ago, like this is from 2011. Um, this is from 2012 that I've kept in there. This is the fertility spell. This is the only spell that I will keep in my book shadows. Um, <laughs> we are about to have a small feline visitor. Maybe not. I don't know what she wants to do. <laughs> um, and then I've got spell times, days of the week, magical hours of the day. This, again, and then we go into like the wheel of the year. I'll have each page is for sabbats in here. Um, and then I'm going to have mostly just crystal. Here's a section for like crystals that I specifically use in my practice and how out. Wrong my glasses on the tripod how they've been useful to me um, a section on the elements different types of magic not so much spells as I said but just the descriptions of those types of magic um, and then I will have a section on deities I'll have a section on home and hearth magic um, different types of divination and other really personal things in here for me that is how I use my book of shadows Now, when I said that I don't put spells in here, I will go on to the next journal, although we're going to have a little feline um, nosing her way in here. <laughs> um, oh, we want to play, huh? Okay. So this is my spell book. I'm not finished in making this, so there are no spells in it currently. Do you mind, little miss? But there will be. Um, so everything, every spell that I do that I've kind of figured out how it works for me will go in here. So I made a, I love making like collage cover pages for my journals. But right now I am in the process of tea staining the pages, which I'm about halfway through the journal and I need to finish that up before I get going on implementing where I want, where well, I'm starting to really put stuff in here. But it's kind of going to have that like old distressed feel to it. Um, I'm going to do a lot of like vintage floral stickers in here and things like that. Um, so this is going to keep my spells. And um, I got to finish tea staining it though. <laughs> and then the last journal, which I will take from Little Miss over here, is the first junk journal that I've ever made. Um, this is my goddess journal. And I decided to do this after using my tarot tracker. Um, this was a book that a journal that I bought like a few years back. And um, I decided that I was going to deconstruct it and recycle it and use create my own goddess journal. So I made a journal and this is all going to be I glued the fabric on, I so I made signatures, I sewed them in. <laughs> uh, um and excuse you, miss. <laughs> um this is all going to be for my goddesses and just kind of the divine feminine in general. So I'm going to have um evocations, prayers 
collages, just tons of things that I want to dedicate to my goddesses. Um, this is just a way for me to artistically express my connection to the divine feminine and um, yeah, I want to do put like a patch on here, like a goddess patch or something too. Um, but I haven't really found one I like yet, so we'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it. But this was an interesting adventure, creating my own signatures, sewing them into a binding, and creating my own journal out of a deconstructed book. It was, it was really fun, and I would totally do it again. <laughs> um, it just was an adventure. You are just going nuts for that, aren't you? <laughs> so, yeah, that is a quick nutshell of my books, or my journals, with special guest appearance by Arwen. <laughs> Um, Arwen, <laughs> do you mind, miss? <laughs> yeah, okay. She's just gonna stare at me with her beautiful self. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and as always, bless and be.